In this tutorial, we will practice how to use the advanced crop tools to prepare images for efficient data analysis. When matching spots between the gels that you are analyzing within an experiment, it is important to have all the images the same size and shape. Also, to improve efficiency, you may want to exclude the areas at the fringes that do not contain any useful information. Use the advanced crop tools to crop the images to the same size. To begin, close the experiment wizard and use the quick guide. The quick guide is a useful tool that displays all the essential functions in a single location. Open the set of images that you want to analyze. Select Advanced Crop Tools from the Quick Guide. Notice the Advanced Crop Tools bar opens at the top left of the display area. First, we will define the image area that we want to keep for analysis. Click on the first button, Define Crop Area. Notice that PDQuest software displays the selected function's name and definition on the main menu bar. Position the frame to include the area on the gel image that you want to analyze. Be sure not to crop too much and leave some image area around your spots of interest. The next step is to define an alignment marker, an anchor spot for centering all the cropped images. For the anchor spot, we will select a dark, well-defined spot near the center of the image. In the process of cropping the images, we will point to this anchor spot in every image and the software will align the entire image set by this anchor spot position. Use the Image Stack tool to observe the behavior of spots within the entire set of images. Click on the Image Stack tool under View and select Gels to display. In general, the central area of the gel image normally contains less distortion. It is best to have the anchor spot within a constellation of spots that create a recognizable pattern. Avoid selecting a spot of protein with post-translational modification that shifts the spot position between the gels. This spot looks good for an alignment marker. Click on the Crop Alignment Marker button, the one with the crosshair icon. Place the cursor on the anchor spot and click Save Crop Settings. To easily see all the images in the stack, you can use the Tile Display option under the Window menu. When you move the cursor away from the center of the image, the cursor becomes a scissors icon. Left-click, select the Copy and Crop option, and save the cropped image with a new name. This will preserve the original image file. We don't advise using the Crop option because it will overwrite the original file. Now, we will go through the same process on the remaining gels. Load the saved crop settings, center the crosshair of the alignment marker on the anchor spot, and, using the Copy and Crop button, save the cropped image with a new file name. When finished, we will have a stack of cropped images, all containing the protein spots of interest, and all will be the same size. Now the images are ready for accurate detection and analysis of protein spots.